coming from the cupola of the Domo of St. Peter's. You exit down on top of the roof proper. There are several areas where lights are shining back up, but predominantly it's just masonry paving sloping very carefully to roof drains. Now looking back towards the front or east side of St. Peter's. system, metal roof and masonry that slopes over to carefully controlled locations for collecting water and taking it on outside the building. This is the center of the basilica and the little souvenir shops and others that are built within the roof of the roof. Very cool place. Vatican City and Rome back in the background. Now walking towards the front of the church. The Mastery walkway has drain systems and pretty good little slope on the floors to make sure that everything properly drains and doesn't pond and cause water to go up underneath the brickwork. And of course, cigarettes and chewing gum is the rule of the day there. Looking back now, we're part of the south transept of the church. Uh, chapel area is actually not a transept. Because a transept would be, of course, centered underneath the dome. This is April 23rd, the year 2012, and today's not too bad, a little windy, but temperature's quite pleasant, perhaps in the low 60s right now, about noontime. They do have souvenir shops up on the roof, and they also have refreshments, as well as restrooms for those who uh, are worried about such things. And they keep them clean, but they are, I must admit, quite old, quite dated. Another exit back to the elevator that will take you all the way down to the main entrance. Coming up to the east main entrance of the church, Christ is in the middle, as he should be. With St. Peter carrying his cross that he was crucified on, other apostles and their symbols, and St. Paul would be, in this case, to Jesus' right. These are all quite old, and you begin to see the size of the statue compared to the size of the people. Quite large. Absolutely an incredible place. And if you come to St. Peter's, by all means, pay the extra seven euros, ride the elevator to the roof. And you can choose to go up from the base of the elevator, or excuse me, the base of the drum of the roof, where you can see inside, by the way. You can choose to go ahead and climb the extra 320 steps Barbara chose to do it. I check it out. Gonna get a sense of the scale of the people to the statuary, which is truly, absolutely remarkable. And you can see beyond this balustrade the Bernini's colonnade and the obelisk in the center. Way in the distance would be Castel di San Angelo in the Tiber River. We did on another trip and so 
certainly enjoyed uh, climbing those large series of steps to the top.